Insurgency Sandstorm celebrated its fourth birthday late last year, and in September of this year, it will officially be two years old on consoles. An official next-gen upgrade is being released this year for this game as well, but the real question is where do we go from here with this franchise? Today we're going to be taking a look at some of the things that we already know, some things we don't know, and some of the things we hope for this game going forward. I'm your Older Than Average Gamer. So as I stated in the intro, we do know for sure this game is getting a next-gen upgrade this year. Uh, because the game on console is approaching its two-year anniversary now, um, one could hope, and one certainly does hope, that this upgrade comes out at the beginning quarter of 2023. Now, I wish I could tell you that that is what's going to happen uh, with any degree of certainty, but I just can't. They've kept the release date uh, for this next-gen upgrade pretty close to the vest and have stayed very consistent with the uh, you know, verbiage of 2023. Now, for those of us who purchased this game on consoles and particularly on next-gen consoles, obviously, when this update comes out, this is a big deal because the game, if you didn't know and you don't play it on next-gen, um, but you have the reference for what it looks like on PC. It's it's quite a quite a jarring difference uh, how poor the graphics look compared to the PC counterpart, which in and of itself is not incredibly surprising, as that that's a fairly common thing for ports uh, PC games to console. But when you're playing a competitive first-person shooter or even a non-competitive one, when you're you know, in PVE, let's say, it's still a big deal being able to see what you're aiming at and what you're shooting at. And while I know a lot of players have gotten used to the way the game looks, if you have to jump back and forth between them, it's it's incre it's very noticeable, and it's a it's it is a big deal. And with that said, while that's going to be something that everyone's looking forward to, uh, the real lingering question here is: with a game that is four years old and soon to be five years old. Um, where, what's the lifespan really going to be for this? And is there anything else coming out in the future that's going to elaborate on this series? A social media post from New World Interactive uh, several months ago now um, created a lot of questions, especially within the insurgency community, um, as there was the potential that this could possibly have been a sort of a nod to the fact that a new game was being made. Now, the post in question was essentially um, a small advertisement uh, looking for new talent at NWI and uh, included three images, uh, all in a jungle setting that was not explained at all. Um, one of the positions here you can see is technical animator for an unannounced project. Now, I think that that's an important thing to note here because unannounced project, while we can still very much potentially infer that this is something to do with a new Insurgency Sandstorm game. Um, the fact that they haven't even announced this yet means we are probably farther off from this than I think a lot of us would like to be. The other thing here too is that unless they fired someone, uh, which is definitely possible, um, but unless they did that, the fact that they're looking for a technical animator would mean that this game is basically not even started being developed yet. I mean, other than it's just in the idea phase still, um, this is definitely a position that you need to start actually creating the mechanics and the gameplay of something as uh, obviously a technical animator would be a pretty big part of that. Now, the jungle setting and um, a little red car that you can kind of see in the background and just to the right of this NWI logo here has led some people to think that this might be a Vietnam era game and this is definitely jungles you, know, you can say so I can see where they're going with um, but if I'm gonna put my two cents in here I'm gonna say I think we might have a potentially likely scenario for something more akin to South America um, and a favela sort of narco situation uh, which would also I feel like kind of lend itself to a nice way to stick with the theme of the Insurgency franchise, but give it a slightly fresher, uh, you know, direction. 
The age of the car in the background here is one of the things that has led some people to believe that this would be a Vietnam era game, uh, which is understandable. But um, I also think it's very possible that uh, you would find cars of this age run down in the jungles of South America, near favelas, uh, where people are generally poor. Um, you're going to be rehabbing cars that are old, not buying brand new ones. Unfortunately, there are far more questions than there are answers. And while the advertisement for needing a technical director for a unannounced project and a jungle setting background picture does absolutely mean that they're making a new game, what it doesn't necessarily mean is that it's a new insurgency game. Um, we're hoping that that's what it means. Um, and I think that it's certainly fair to assume that being that it's it's a, a, a well-beloved franchise, but NWI makes a lot of games. You keep that in mind, it's a, that's a very important thing to note here. I do think no matter what happens here over the next year, um, if this franchise, this series now, or just a two game series, but still a series now, if it hopes to live on, it's going. they're gonna need a new entry and they're gonna need one in the next year. Um, that's my opinion, but I do believe that if you wait too long to add a new entry, um, you're, you're going to have a slowly dying series. And, and I, I know a lot of people have made content about this game dying recently, which is partly true more so on PC, I think, than it is on console, as it's still pretty new on console. And there are a lot of people um, kind of flocking towards this, especially people who don't have PC. But with the amount of content they're able to make uh, regularly for this game, and um, this is a reality that we have to look into that uh, if there isn't a new title added to this this um, wonderful wonderfully fun franchise um, we could be in some trouble as fans and I hope because I am a fan of this game um, that they do have something in the works guys let me know what you think in the comments below um, give me your suggestions give me your ideas I'd love to hear them I always do appreciate your input um, Thank you for stopping by the channel today. If you enjoyed the video, I hope you'll consider liking it. Um, if this is your first time here, maybe subscribe to this channel. Uh, we do content on tactical gaming and games of this nature all the time here. Um, would love to have you. Love to see you back. Would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a great week.